go some see here and welcome back to the Minecraft server. Let me put on some shaders, actually. Forgot to turn this back on. Oh, load. So we are doing a walkthrough of this modern resort that I built. And I was going to do this for 50 subs, but because if you don't know, we are very quickly approaching. We are at 40 right now, so that's not too bad. But I have something even better built, something that you don't know unless you've checked out the server. So, yeah, I'll do that for 50 subs, and I'll probably do a cinematic for it and all that. But this is the next best thing. So, this is a large resort that I built. It's right next to my library that I did a few episodes ago. And actually, let's take a tour of the outside. I used a lot of the... Uh, spruce slabs because I thought it would kind of tie it in together for the whole building to be like that rather than just small sections so you'll see that pretty much the whole building's framed like it I also put in these letters they're not too easy to find but they're not meant to be very easy to find but they're, it's not like it's supposed to be impossible to see but it's RS for Riverside because the name of this is the Riverside Resort because it's next to a river right over there and if you can see the shapes are different all over the building like you'll have horizontal windows and vertical windows and circles it's just complete every wall has a different design on it which I really like about it and this took me about two days to build completely three days if you include the interior I guess yeah that would make sense um so you'll you will see beacons laying around and it's because I was going around in a different shader I think it was uh Rudo plays and it was extremely dark so I went around and added in beacons every once in a while so that it didn't look horrible and I think I pulled that off quite well so that they're in kind of places where you don't notice them too well so let's take a tour of the inside right now and you'll immediately notice this plant thing right here. I needed something to fill in right here other than carpet I guess. So I was like, eh, I might as well make some plants and put some pods all in there. And by the way, I'm using Flows HD if you guys don't know what resource pack I'm using. It looks great for modern builds and it's server resource pack. So yeah. Right out here you have access to the private beach for the resort. We have these nice little umbrellas made by Matthias himself, along with these beach towels and this volleyball thing. It's not the best, but there's not a whole lot of room. So, uh, if we go back inside, this is the staircase that will go up later, but it leads to all the rooms. And you'll see a fountain in the middle with a little um, indent inside the building. And you'll find seats laying around in case you want to like read a book or sit down, something like that. And I have lots of hidden lighting around from under bushes to just pretty much anywhere that you can find. If you don't want to go outside to swim in the river, I have a pool right over here. Tile flooring, it's emerald blocks, but I think it looks fairly nice. Again, more bushes. I have bushes pretty much everywhere in this build and a camera. I think I know who put that there. Um, so, oh yeah, I forgot to mention the chandelier. This took me so long to build. I couldn't find one that actually fit the building like this one could. And I just had to experiment so much to figure that out. Uh, there's Tenchi. She's one of them admins. So, if we go over here, we have this is a bunch of community areas so this first staircase well not the staircase but this staircase is extremely weird if you look at it because it kind of goes up like that but I really like how that looks anyways this first area is the viewing area and there's a bunch of seats and tables and just place just places to enjoy yourself and look at the gardens down there the wall is kind of tinted but it looks fine overall to me so if we go up again I'll just walk up the staircases like normal uh, a grilling area so this is like a public food eating area and stuff 
where you can kind of grill and eat inside or outside depends on what you want and it's just for public use all right so let's go back up here uh, the second viewing area every other floor is going to be a viewing area this one it's not it doesn't have two as many seats it's more like sit there with a couple or something as a couple there's one couch out here if you have like a group and just want to hang out the next one is probably the most detailed and one of my favorites not that I could go there anyways but I have a bar so if you want to enjoy some drinks with a friend one night and Beacon did that there we go if you want to have some drinks with a friend one night and just come out into the bar and got these really nice seats it took me a really long time when I first started building modern houses to see how people actually built this but I realized that the floor was slabbed and then they had two stairs like that so we have these like little wine or beer holders and we have this sort of like oops uh, dispensing station so that you can refill your cups and stuff so that's really cool and also there's some tables outside with a few cups oops and the next one's a viewing area I don't remember what what this one looks like oh yeah this one's just like a bunch of seats with no backs I don't know why I decided to go with that I think I was feeling kinda lazy or something but I can't remember it at this point it was about a week ago when I built this so here we have the gardens and it's not much because it was really hard to build with a slabbed floor so I ended up just kind of extending it on the outside and I had blaze it if you don't uh, if you don't know her she's another builder on the server and I had her fill out the gardens because I'm not very good at that but she did a really good job and thank you very much for doing the gardens for me so the next part is going to be the custom rooms which are these four and then the regular rooms so if we go up here you will have four of the custom rooms and they're different to every other room in the house so yeah I thought it was kinda nice and I had this store here to seem like a little block and when the banners come out on 1.8 that's gonna be perfect to cover up with and make curtains and such so yeah we have kitchen right over there dining room beds and each one of the custom rooms has a patio and actually the regular rooms do too so if we go over here it's gonna be different not too much it's pretty much all the same but they look nicer and I think they're larger I'm not positive though they're just different and another kitchen bedroom bathroom same as always and one more and they're all different so let's go upstairs once and I'll take you to my favorite room which Blaze actually has because she wanted a room these uh, these circle rooms they actually change every other floor you'll see in a minute so the one two floors above this is going to be the same as this one but the one directly above it won't so there's a kitchen right over here and I forgot a dining room oh I feel so bad uh, there used to be stuff in here huh someone got rid of the sinks and stuff I'll put them back later but yeah so that's the bathroom it's kind of under decorated because someone tore it up or something oh I think I don't remember what happened I think it was a problem with the copy and paste and then we have a TV and couch and you have your bed right behind the couch which I think looks really fancy and all these rooms are the same I think except for the carpet color even that might be the same I'm not sure but you have the sinks with the red and blue toilets and red carpet with this and then you have this 
The bottom ones actually have these giant patios while the other ones don't. So I needed something to do with this space right here, so I just let it be a patio. And I'll go up one more story and show off this room and I'll go to my favorite room. So we have the kitchen right as you enter the door. Right over here we have another bathroom and this one's more decorated. Uh, bed right here and a couch. No TV though. No TV. But this one doesn't have bars around it, so it's easier to see. So and then you can have a nice view of the city. I really like it. And the reason that top floor is my favorite is because the view is really good. So I think we it's the next one. Yeah, it is. And this is Blazy's room. And, oh, it, also the roof is extended up here too, which I really like. So it's all the bars. I mean, it does have the bars, but the view is really nice if you took out the bars at least. But I do like this room. And I also like this the openness of the top part. And it's the same as the one two floors below. Alright, so I guess that's going to conclude it. There's not too much in the hallways. So I'll see you guys next time.